<laughs> You're really going to town, aren't you? Having a different party. I'll show you a job. They're having a matchy baby party. <laughs> Where did you put your bottle, Charlie? Where is your bottle? Bottle! Where are you? Good night. Good morning. Today we are filming a pins and things video. Easter. Never too early to start filming Easter videos. We've got several really fun ones planned. Today we're making galaxy eggs, Easter eggs. Take a look at these cool. Doesn't it just make you feel like you're flying through outer space? Actually, right I was now? thinking, you know, you know when you do a good job of painting a galaxy when you're looking at it and you feel like you want to look a little bit deeper because you might just see an alien. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. So actually by the time you see this vlog, the galaxy Easter eggs will already be up on pins and things. And guys, our garden is already growing back. I'm really excited because we're gonna have a really good garden this year. I'm really surprised because there's some things in there that we were told it's only in there because you didn't plant it the year before. Mm -hmm. And next year you definitely won't have it because you didn't plant it. Right. And it's gonna die off. But, but it made it through the winter. It made it, and now we have strawberries again. That's right, right down here in the corner. And raspberries. We got some strawberries down there growing. Those are strawberries. This plant right here is blackberries, and these all these little shoots right here that you can see out of the ground, these are all raspberries. And then we've got grape right over there. It's not really got any leaves or anything on it yet, but it's going to. And then our peach trees covered in flowers. This is gonna be a really good year. And this year, we're gonna be more prepared for it. I think we need to take better care of the plants, weed better, and then also harvesting better and just making sure that we actually get all the potential out of the garden. I think that we need to make grape jelly, can more peaches, and not not waste a lot like we did last year. What do you think of my, my dragon egg nest? It's good. <laughs> it is pretty good. And it's for babies' eggs. Yeah? Look at that. Yeah, the little dragon mm. eggs. Nope, don't touch them, don't touch them. Okay, I just got done editing yesterday's vlog and I walked into the dining room and this is what I saw. All alone at the table. Where is everybody? And they left a big mess too. Did you eat them all for lunch? Yeah, yeah. Did you eat the whole family for lunch? Yeah. Ah, <gasps> Charlie. Yeah. Okay, we've got Dallin here. He is here doing a Kirby presentation at our house. And he's gonna do a bubble mountain for the kids here on our living room carpet. Yeah, this part, I love doing this. The kids are so fun. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay. Do you want to smash your face in it, James? So, you go like this, and then bam, gone, right? Or you can do a bubble clap, take a little bit, you got bubbles. Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> or if you go like this, this is called African snow. See? Is it too hot snow? to snow in Africa? Rebecca's going to be bummed she missed out on the party. Yeah, she's going to be like, what were you doing? <laughs> Charlie, you got it all over you, dude. Nice. Yeah, it's yeah. lavender, so. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> You're really going to town, aren't you? <laughs> so you can totally get a kid That's awesome. Okay, mom's baking. She's making taco soup. My aunt just come eat some. Look, doing it. And there are donut balls. All that's what she made. I have a shake, and look what happened when I thought it was all gone when it, there was really a hole. See? <laughs> Is that funny? I was drinking in it and all of a sudden made a hole like ice cream. You guys ready for today's random act? <laughs> right, Steve, thank you note. Today's a pretty easy one. Hopefully it'll make him smile. <laughs> so while I was being sold a Kirby vacuum, Rebecca was at a special doctor's appointment. I was. Let's start at the beginning. Let's so start at the very beginning. <laughs> So after I had Charlie, I've never felt like my body has gone back to the way it was before. And obviously, I still haven't, like physically, I haven't been back to the way I was before I had Charlie. Like with my hormones and my emotions, I feel off. I feel very strange. Also, ever since I had thrush, my throat has felt very strange and some things I can't taste. Sometimes I just lose my taste like most of it where I can barely barely taste something even though I took two different rounds of like medicine from my doctor I don't think my thrush has gone away anyways I had a few concerns and I was like you know I think it's time for me to go to like a holistic doctor instead of my regular doctor because I don't really want to be prescribed medication I want to do what's right for my body and I want to learn new things or what's what my body what the challenges my body is facing or whatever I went to a holistic doctor and I found out some very interesting things do tell Okay, I will. <laughs> One, I have hypoglycemia very bad. Do you guys want to know Becca's medical problems? Do you want to know my medical problems? The thing is, they're not so bad, like not bad enough. None of them are bad enough that I would need to go to a regular doctor. I do notice that it's something that's different with my body that's not the same and it's not helping me. Mm -hmm. It's hurting me. It's worth it to go to a holistic doctor. So I found out I still have thrush. It's a yeast infection at this point. And it's because when I got my tonsils out, out, I got antibiotics that killed the good bacteria and the bad bacteria within my stomach and gut. Because of that, a yeast infection set in and I still have it. And then the other thing is I have hypoglycemia 100%. Like he's like, you absolutely have that. And hypoglycemia is where if you don't eat like every two or three hours, you just start getting really super low on energy and for me i can't think straight can't function but he said that's actually just a symptom of adrenal fatigue and he said adrenal fatigue is really what you have and he, then he went through and was like does this describe you and i was like oh my goodness that describes me to a t where like people with adrenal fatigue in the morning will be like no energy until 10 o'clock in the morning. And then they'll start getting a little bit of energy and then after it gets to like three or four, they feel like they took a sleeping pill. And that happens to me every day. And then after around six is when you start getting a spike and it's actually called your cortisol levels. Normal people's cortisol levels are way up here at the beginning of the day and then they go down until it's time to go to bed and then they fall asleep. Mine are low at the beginning of the day and they rise and rise and rise until the end of the day and then I finally fall asleep and they drop. But it's completely backwards from how it's supposed to be. So you've got to change your diet is basically what you're going to do and take a couple supplements? Yep, I'm changing my diet. I've, I have already been doing pretty good with my diet. So no gluten? So I can't have gluten yeah. and dairy affect your gut health. That's what's affecting me right now. And no, no sugars. Sugar. Good proteins and good fats like avocado and stuff like that so primarily you're just battling this with a change in your diet and then uh, they, he also gave me all of this like capsules or whatever they're like not prescription but they're like did you already vitamins. get these vitamins mm -hmm. and you're gonna try this for a whole month and see how you feel yep and then you're going also back on uh, next week for some lab tests to see if there's anything more yeah well oh and he said something i have a problem with my thyroid this is really interesting you look at my tongue it's ribbed on the sides because he said I'm, my tongue is very swollen. So look at this. So on the sides, you can... <laughs> on the sides, you can see that 
there's imprints from all of my teeth and he said it's because your tongue is very swollen which means you might have a thyroid problem so we're gonna ch take do a test in like a week and see if I have a thyroid problem and I said well what if my tongue's just bigger than other people and he's like it doesn't really work like that I mean he said the only other people that I ever see with a tongue as swollen as yours or as big as yours are people that are like older and overweight and men like big men <laughs> And he said, with the size of your body and like how healthy you are, your tongue should not be that big. So, and Michael's, I was like, let me see your tongue. And he doesn't have the same thing. It's like, on the side of mine, it's like divots and imprints from my teeth and he doesn't have it. Are you gonna stick out your tongue? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, your tongue is very swollen. So maybe I have a. So we'll see. Too. Hopefully, in a month from now, you'll be feeling 100%. Yeah. And I'm very we'll happy because I'm a pretty healthy person, but I, I can, I've noticed changes in my body since having Charlie, and they haven't been there before, and they are causing problems. So oh. I'm just happy to be resolving them and addressing them and seeing if I can get back to healthy normal. Normal. Yeah. Cool.